Yes, actually the treatment of aplastic anemia is evolving in the last few years. I mean, uh, the two key treatments for aplastic anemia are bone marrow transplantation and immunosuppression. Uh, we are making huge progress in both treatment. In the non-transplant setting now, we have a thrombopack that add, added on top of standard immunosuppression uh, seems to improve the response rate. Uh, we are aware of a phase two data from the US showing that the hematological response may increase up to 80 or 90 percent and uh, we are waiting for the results from a randomized trial uh, conduct in uh, Europe that will eventually uh, clarify whether this treatment, the addition of a thrombopack on horse ATG and cyclosporin is going to increase uh, early response as well as improve long-term outcome for aplastic anemia. Data will be presented at ASH meeting in a couple of weeks, so looking forward to see the data. Uh, on the other hand, the treatment uh, is improving also because the transplant uh, strategies are improving. Uh, we are able to run, to do, perf to perform transplantation with many other donors. We are able to do transplantation even from aploidentical donors, and this will eventually lead to uh, uh, a donor for all patients requiring a transplantation. However, discussing the standard transplantation in plastic anemia right now, I think we are making huge progresses because now the, uh, the um, overall survival and the GVHD uh, free survival uh, has improved according to the uh, protocol that we are using right now. We are able to keep patients alive without GVHD with the rate up to 80% in young patients. Maybe uh, this rate is a little bit lower in patients older than 40 or 50. However, we are improving even in this setting of uh, less, I mean, less young patients. Uh, this is not only for uh, matched related donors, but also for MAD, the match unrelated donor transplantation. Even in this setting, the treatment that we are using right now, the conditioning, the conditioning regimens that we are using right now uh, are able to uh, lead to much better outcome with uh, overall survival rates as high as 70 or 80 percent, mostly in young patients. I think this is mostly due to the use of uh, CAMPAT in the conditioning regimen. Uh, this protocol has been developed in the UK by the um, uh, King's College team in London and eventually results uh, are really changing the treatment paradigm of aplastic anemia. So at the moment uh, we have to be uh, very proud of ourselves because that was a disease that in the 70s was little, no way to uh, treat patients. And now we are able to keep patients alive and to offer them a response rate and cure rate as high as 60 or 70 percent, even in patients older than 40. So we were able to improve the transplant treatment. We were able to improve the non-transplant treatment. And of course, this is resulting in a much better outcome for all our patients.